Hello, we're going to start in one minute. No, two minutes, three minutes, okay? <laughs> See you in a moment. Are we ready for the class? Are we ready? Oh my. So, so. <laughs> Joanna, you didn't come yesterday to classes. See, teacher, sorry. Sipota, what happened? I pude conectar. Okay, but don't worry. Today we're going to practice, okay? We're going okay. to practice the the time, how to say the time. You will okay. see. Now, we're going to start here, right, with today's class. Just let me take away many things from here. And we're going to start with the attendance, okay? Vamos la asistencia. Today is April 29th, right? April 29th, right? And I have Ana Daisy Fuentes Villegas. Hi. Nice. Person. Excellent. Okay. 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 Carlos. Carlos. Emerson. Benis and everyone. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank You're you. Welcome. You're welcome. Okay. So we have Anna Daisy, we have Carlos, and we have Dennis, right? But let's see. Brenda Iris, no, right? She's not with you. Carlos Roberto, yes. Uh, Carolina Yamilet. Carolina Yamilet. Oh, she's connecting. Hi, Carolina. Hi. Hello. Claudia Hello. Ivette Samayoa. Present. Dennis Fernando. 
Emerson Adalberto. Present. Heriberto Antonio Alas. Iris Elizabeth. Iris Elizabeth. Iván Ernesto Elías. Jessica Rosemary Olmedo. Present teacher. Thank you. Julio Carlos Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Karina Melissa Estrada. Nelson Iván. Nimian Elizabeth. Nimian. Okay. Vilma Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Jenny Carolina. Jenny. No. Joana Beatriz or Joana Thank you, Joanna. And now let's start here, right, with the class. Today is day 14, so we're going to do how to use the present simple, right, for the simple present with prepositions of time, okay? That's what we're going to do. Let me show you here my computer. Present, okay, hi, Ivan. Hi, teacher. Now, remember we are in week number three, so unit three, where do you work, right? That's what we're doing. And we are going to, hi, Brenda. We're going to work with how to use prepositions of time. Yesterday, we used the clock, right, to learn how to tell the time, right? Now, with that in mind, right, we're going to practice here. Let me show you. One moment. This one, this is what I have to show you. Look at this clock, right? Look at these clocks right here. If we have these clocks right here, right, on the, on the, on the computer, right, it says, what time is it, right? We have different clocks. We have number one, for example, says, what time is it? Right, it's 20 after two, it's 20 after two. Look at the clock here, right? It's 20 after two, 20 minutes and two, two in the afternoon, right? Or two in the morning maybe. Or another way is it's 2.20, okay? Now, what could be another way? Yesterday I gave you like three different ways to tell the time. What could be the other one that we can use here? What time is it? It's 20 after two or it's two? 20. What's another way? What is other possibility? 20 minutes past two. It's, it's 20 minutes past two. That is perfect. Thank you so much. That is great. Now, what are we going to do right now? We are practicing on how to tell the time. Please take a screenshot of this activity. Or let me send it to your, to your, no. Take a screenshot, please. Tome una captura de pantalla. Cada uno. Okay. Take a screenshot. Tome una captura. And we are going to work right now in pairs, okay? Vamos a trabajar en pareja. Right. In pairs, you are going to practice the question, what time is it? What time is it? Is it? What time is it? It's 20 after two. Also, right? Let's go ahead and practice right now. Okay. ¿Se entiende que vamos a trabajar? Do you understand what we're going to do? Yes? No? Is it clear? 
or no? ¿Se entiende qué vamos a hacer? Yes, yes. Is clear? Sure. Okay. Very good, very good. So let's get to work in groups right now. We're going to work in pairs. Let's go. You have your groups. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Llegaré dentro de 15 minutos. Okay. So Jenny, I am going to put your partner Ivan with another person, okay? Ya usted la voy a poner con otro equipo para que esté de oyente. Y ahí van lo voy a poner en otro equipo. Iris, select your group. Brenda Iris. Select your group. Iván, lo voy a cambiar de equipo porque Jenny solamente va escuchando. Ok, entonces no. Ajá, a ella lo voy a poner con otro equipo. Y a, y a usted lo voy a mandar ahorita con Joana para que me la ayude a Joana. Ok. Y Jenny se va con ellos dos para que practique con ellos. Solo escucho. Hi, Joanna. Hi. Look. Ah, what a beautiful t-shirt. Now, ah. nice. uh -huh. Now, Ivan, yesterday he learned the time very well. Él les aprendió el tiempo así. Ya sabe cómo decir. Okay. So he is going to help you. Yes, usted me ayudó un montón ayer. So he is going to help you to understand this and Jenny is going to be listening only, okay? Because she's driving, I think, okay? Very good, let's get okay. to work. Ayúdale a Joana que ya no estuvo ayer. Bye. Okay, perfect. Before... Cuando dijo que Before. Eso es, es before. Ajá. Uh -huh. Before. Seven. Seven. Hello, teacher. Hi. Hello. Any questions right now? No. It's... All is clear. It is clear. Easy, right? Mm. Sí. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh -huh. <laughs> before. Ya vamos a ver qué tan fácil está, teacher. Ahí no va a escuchar. Acaba. It will be easy, you'll see. En el otro sería if ten to, to seven. Ajá, pero usando el, el tú. Perdón, no lo escuché. Vale, como cuando estaba, como ayer hicimos un ejemplo usando before y otro tú, ¿verdad? Entonces sería sí, siempre. Correcto. It's ten to seven. Seven. Sí, primero es it's, it's six fifty. Fifty, ajá. Y el Esto otro. Es, el otro es. Eh, Ten before, ten, ten before seven. seven, correcto. Y el otro uh -huh. es eh, ten, ten, ten two, two seven. Seven. Uh -huh. Ahí en este sería en el tercer ejemplo. It's el otro es eighteen. It's for for Forty-five. Eight, four, Forty-five. Three, five. Forty-five. I will send you with uh, Claudia Ivette because she's alone, okay? Okay, yes. teacher. El, el otro podría ser is a quarter to night, ¿verdad? Um, see, it's a quarter tonight. It's a quarter 
tonight. Y el otro puede ser it's fifteen. Uh, Vea. Fifteen. Two. Sorry, Claudia, nine. te la cambié, pero ya había muchos. Aquí solo hay dos. ¿Qué? Hola, sí, Claudia. Hola, Claudia. Welcome. La vi solita, por eso la traje por aquí. Ok, Claudia. Estamos. No es que ni el folleto me traje de, de, de mi casa ayer. Sí. Aquí el ejemplo. Do you have questions? Eh, tengo, eh, estoy construyendo la segunda, eh, ¿verdad? La primera es it 650. Y la ¿Sí? otra tendría, ajá, 650. O sea, ¿Sí? la, se, ¿Sí? ajá, la 650. ¿Sí? La otra tendría que ser 10 para las 7. Ahí es donde vamos a hacer uso del before o del after. Exactly. ¿Verdad? Entonces podría ser eh, lo, que no, lo que no sé es si poner, tendría que ser 10 a las 7, ¿verdad? Yes, but in Spanish. Ajá. How would you say that in English? Ajá, sería, sería eh, it's thing, it's thing to six. It's 10 to six. No. Ajá, it's 10 to six, no. Ahí son las 5 y 50. Ahí son las 5 y 50. It's 10 to 6. It's ah, perdón. Ah, es 7, es 7. Perdón, sí, es 7. Uh -huh. Es 7. Sería 10 to 7. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, it's 10 to 7. That ¿verdad? is correct. Yeah, yeah. Porque si, sí, ¿verdad, ¿verdad, teacher? De que eh, solo se pone o'clock cuando la hora es exacta, es decir, las dos, las tres, las cuatro. That is correct. Ok. Cuando es en punto la hora, then you use o'clock. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Teacher. Bueno. Yes, Brenda. Mira, fíjense que yo todavía sigo en la oficina, entonces hay cosas que sí yo las puedo responder, pero otras no. Ah, ya, pero porque no les puede responder por el igual. sonido o porque está ocupada. No, lo que pasa es que como estoy presentando renta, entonces tengo que estarme levantando, imprimiendo, archivos, descargando. Entonces ah. no puedo estar escuchando toda la clase porque hoy y mañana se vence. Ok, hagamos una cosa. Entonces, cuando usted se levante, apague la cámara. Cuando usted esté aquí, enciéndala. Así esa va a ser la forma de saber que usted no está. Si no, no le ah, vale, sí, porque hasta mañana es último día, entonces. Ay, es que no he hecho la red. ¿Las tareas, sí? Ah, no, yo no he hecho la red. Ah. <risa> ah, no, pues ya te sé que mañana es último día. Oh, multa va a caer como siempre. <risa> <risa> no, hombre, hay que hacerla. Ok. Now, do you have questions? I don't know. Do you understand how to tell the time? ¿Entiende cómo decir el, el, el tiempo? Eh, mm. Sí, bueno, hasta el momento, yo la, en la segunda me quedaría, it's a 45. Ajá. Lo mejor es que lo digan en la forma con la que se siente más cómodo, ¿ok? Ajá. La forma más fácil. Si usted siente que la forma fácil, it's a 45, say it like that, y no se complique con el before y el after. Uh -huh. ¿Ok? No se okay. solo diga la forma más más eh, fácil. Por eso es que le doy varias opciones para que ustedes escojan. ¿Okay? ok. 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 Hi, Iris. Thank you, teacher. Hello. Thank you. Hi, teacher. We are doing this exercise, Iris. Can okay. you please Can you please take a screenshot of this and try to work in... Oops. This one. To tell the time? No. Before. Yes. Yes. Before. Before, after. Before. What time is it? Exercise. This is the exercise. Do you take a screenshot? Como la captura? 
Ya, listo. Excellent. So, you're welcome. Do you guys have another question? ¿Tienes alguna otra pregunta? No. No. Okay. See you in a moment. Hello. Do you have questions? Did you finish with the? Who's that? Hi, Anna Daisy. I see another person in the other camera. Ah, okay. <laughs> Do you have questions about? <laughs> Do you have any questions about the activity, Anna Daisy? Tiene preguntas sobre cómo decir la hora, Carlos? No le escucho. Haga mi seña si no puede hablar. Ahora sí. Ya, yeah, sé sí, que sí. sí. <ríe> Perdone. Este, le contaba que, bueno, supongo que vamos a pasar a practicar, pero no sé si hay problema en que lo digamos todo de una sola forma. Oh. There's no problem. Okay. I, I, actually, uh -huh. I actually was telling Carolina that because she says that she cannot handle the others. No puede, no puede utilizar los otros. Ocupemos la forma que más nos, que, la que más aprendimos. Okay? Ah, okay. Pues, <laughs> es, es, es un juicio porque you. al final decimos lo mismo. Right? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you. Dear. Okay. Excellent. So let's go. Did you finish? Yes. Dos nos quedan. Okay, gracias, okay. gracias. Very good. 15 minutes. Uh, ¿En español o en inglés? No. It's, it's, it's nine, it's nine. ¿Cómo vamos? It's nine. Mm. Mm. Bien. Bien. Yo puse it's 15 before tonight. It's 15. Uh -huh. It's 15 before tonight. Se son las 8.45. It's 8.45, ajá. Teacher, y es correcto si digo... O oh, five, o oh, fifty, para todo. Yes, because uh, yesterday we learned that you are going to say O oh, from one to nine. It's one o oh, one, it's one o oh, two, one o oh, three, one o oh, nine. And then we say it's one ten. For example, the one in number four, we can say it's eleven o oh, five. But the one in number three, we cannot say is 8045. It's not possible. El O es cero. O es cero. 1105. O es qué? Cero. O es cero. O es cero. Entonces, en vez de. podría utilizarlo con 15, 25. No lo puedo utilizar, ajá. Solo serían como con minutos. Con el minuto. Solo sería con los hasta el minuto nueve. Hasta el minuto nueve, exacto. Uh -huh. Del minuto uno al nueve usted puede decir, oh, de ahí del diez uh -huh. en delante, <risa> del diez en adelante, ya no lo puedo utilizar. Oh. Oh, uh -huh. oh, oh. Oh, oh. Así. Okay. ¿Cómo oh. van? ¿Ya van bien? ¿Sí? El yes. número... Cuatro. Pero okay. se puede poner diferentes formas, ¿verdad? Yes, the best, the best thing is to practice all of them. Eh, lo mejor es practicar okay. todos. Si no, enfóquense en uno, pero uh, utilícenlo bien. Okay? Okay. ok, perfecto. Very good. See you in a moment. Ok. Ok. Este, 11 a 5, dice. Hello. Hello. Do you have any questions? Oh, eh, yo tengo una pregunta. Ajá. En la parte de eh, cuando se utiliza before, 
Before. Siempre uh -huh. se pone before, siempre se pone los minutos primero y después la hora. Sí. It's 15 minutes before 7. Siempre, ah, siempre lo... se agrega minutes. Uh -huh. oh, no, le puede agregar minutes o no le puede agregar minutes. Eso va a depender de usted. Significa lo mismo. Uh -huh. Ajá. Porque uh -huh. sí sabemos okay. que son minutos. Entonces, pero va a ser, por ejemplo, it's 15 before 7. La hora tiene que ser la próxima hora, no la hora de la que está hablando. ¿Ok? Porque tenía un grupo oh, que no. en la primera, en la primera me decía que era it's, en la número 2, it's 10 before 6. Pero si me dice it's 10 before 6, ¿qué hora es? Es 10 a las 6. Es 10 a las 6. Ajá, es 10 a las 6. Y no, es 10 a las 7. Entonces sería, it's 10 before 7. 10 before 7. Ok. Por ello se tiene que agregar también before 2 y el número. ¿Cómo? Ok. It's 45 minutes before 2 night. No, no puedo utilizar 45 con before, porque recuérdense que dividimos el reloj en dos partes. ¿Verdad? La primera uh -huh. parte se utiliza after. La segunda parte se utiliza before. Es como en español, que en español no podemos decir faltan 45 minutos para las 9. ¿Verdad que no podemos decir así? Entonces, solamente del minuto 30 en adelante utilizamos faltan 25 para las 9. Faltan 29 para las 9, pero no decimos faltan 30 para las 9. ¿Okay? De, de, um. minu, entonces, de, igualito que en español. Uh -huh. Entonces no puede decir faltan 45 para las 9. Uh. Ajá. Puede decir. Ok, entendí. Uh, entendí. Puede decir. Okay. Eh, it's 15 past 8. Son las 8.15. Si son las 8, si son las, eh, si faltan 45 minutos para nada, serían las 8 y 15, ¿verdad? Entonces sería, uh -huh. it's 15 past 8. Okay. ¿Ok? Sí. Mm. Very good. Pero entonces no podemos poner, it's 10 to 7. Ese sí, it's 10 to 7. Esa es otra opción. Recuérdense que ayer le di tres opciones para cada lado. ¿Verdad? Entonces, usted, si pueden utilizar las tres opciones, úsenlas. Si no, enfóquense en una y utilicenla bien. ¿Qué? ¿Cómo va? ¿Vamos bien? ¿Ya les enchivole más? No, no, me, a, Bueno, a mí me aclaró esta de gusto de Dijo. Ok, very good, very good. No, it's ok. Siempre pregunten, no hay problema. Ok. Y vamos Gracias. a decir before. Repita. Before. 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 Lo siento, es que los demás están atrasados, por eso. No hay problema. Uh, okay. Don't worry. Eh, practice the pronunciation, right? And in two minutes, a las ocho y media, nos vamos. Okay. okay. Very good. See you in two okay. minutes. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Where is Carolina? I don't find Carolina. Ok, compañeras, si quieren, practicamos. 15 para las 9. Ajá, entonces allí sería. It's 15 tonight. No. No. Falten 15 para las 9, no es it's 15 tonight. Ah, sí, sí, sí. 15 para las 9. Yes, así se dice. It's 15 tonight, 15 para las 9. Y la otra opción Ajá. es la suya, Iris. ¿Cómo es? Es a quarter. Mm -hmm. This a quarter for nine. It's a quarter to nine. To, to nine. Uh -huh. nine. Uh -huh. Las dos opciones están bien. It's a quarter, a quarter to nine. 
Tonight. Teacher, usted mencionaba ayer este, que cuando era antes, eh, pasados hasta nueve minutos, según entendí, uh -huh. se decía O, oh, ¿verdad? O, oh, sí. Es que el cero, el cero, por ejemplo, en el reloj número cuatro, creo que es. Sí. Ver. sí, en el cuatro, uh -huh. en el del teléfono, es eleven o five. El oh, cero en inglés, no solamente. la clave de María, no. No ah, ya, ya, ya. El cero no solamente se dice zero, sino que oh. se dice también o. Oh. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Zero. Me queda más claro. Sí. Entonces, como tenemos. Entonces 11, tendría oh, que five. ser. Perdón, teacher, no se tendría que ser. It's eleven. Uh -huh. eh, oh, cero o. Oh. No, no. No. Five. Cero y o oh son lo mismo. Son ah, son lo mismo. Uh -huh. Ah, que son sí, ya lo había hecho yo. Uh -huh. ah, yo lo había hecho. It's 11.05. Eh, oh, 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 It's 11.05. Oh, yes, exacto. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Entonces, el 5 es, es el cinco eh, que es vamos ahorita, ¿verdad? Three, three, it's it, 3 a quarter. 3 a quarter. Ajá, sí uh -huh. me he quedado yo ahorita. ¿Cómo? It's 3 a quarter. Ajá. It's Pero ahí me falta, three. creo, que estaba construyendo cuando empezaron a discutir. No, es. Es a quarter. Es a quarter. Ajá. Uh -huh. Es a quarter after. Ah, quarter, siempre. Uh -huh. Ajá. Es a quarter after three. After, after three. Ajá. Uh Ajá. -huh. Uh -huh. It's a quarter after three. Ok, vámonos. Y ya, si pues, faltara, ya. O, o faltara 15, sería quarter before, teacher. It's a quarter two. Uh -huh. It's a quarter two. Si faltan 15 para las 3, ah, it's okay. a quarter to three. It's a quarter two. Uh -huh. Very good. Let's okay. go, let's go. Ok. Hello. Okay, so we have there the practice that we're going to do, right? All of you were practicing, so it was very nice. Now, what we're going to do is like you are going to say one of the options that you have, okay? Uno va a decir una opción. Y si alguien más tiene otra opción, levanta la mano y vamos a, a hay una opción, hay una opción acá donde pueden levantar la mano aquí en Zoom. Ahí, yo no la tengo. Ok, but you can, you can actually have it there, like you do this. You do this, and I can see it. Fulanito, raise his hand. Pulanita raised her hand. So I can see that information from there, okay? Now, let's do it right now. And we're going to practice one moment. Okay, now we have this. And I would like to start this with Julio Carlos. Julio Carlos. What do you have for the clock number two? Okay. It's a quarter to nine. It's in number two? Ah, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. It's 10 before seven. It's 10 before seven. Yes. It's 10 before 7. Okay, thank you so much. It's 10 before 7. Does somebody have something different? I can tell this thing. Okay, very good. I have Ivan and Jessica Rosemary. Okay, Ivan, what do you have? And then Jessica. Ivan? Ivan. Excuse me, no había salido el micro. Okay. It, it's six ten. 
Eight, six, ten. Okay. Eight, six, ten. Ten. Is that the time here? Is it now? Six, ten. Ivan. No. Oh, excuse me, Mickey, okay. Era six, uh, ah. no correcti ese, 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 Okay, ese. don't worry, don't worry. Uh, Jessica, okay. what do you have? You're going to participate in another one. Jessica? It's, it's 10 to seven. It's 10 to seven. Very good, that's another option. It's 10 to seven, very good. And let's see here, I have Dilma. What else do you have for this? It's? It's six fifteen. Ay, la, apoyando. It's Como lo quito six este. fifteen. It's six fifteen. No sé cómo yes. quitar la manita. Carolina, wait a moment. It's six fifteen. Uy, perdón. Sí. 615, look at the numbers. 615. The number, how do you say this number, Vilma? Hola. How do you say this number? ¿Cómo dice este número? 15 or 50? 15. 50. It's, it's, it's 50. 50. It's 650. It's 650. Very good. Very good. Those are the three options that we can use to tell this, the time in this clock. Okay? This is for clock number two. Very good. Now, let's go with clock number three. Carolina, you start. Clock number three. It's A45. Okay. It's A. 45. Very good. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, does somebody else have something different? Everyone has the same? Okay. Let's see, Carolina. Carolina, se me le dijo. Julio. Julio, what do you have? It's a quarter to nine. It's a quarter to nine. It's a quarter to nine. Very good. Who has something different? Only Julio and Carolina? Jessica, what do you have, Jessica? It's 45 before eight. It's 45 before eight. Is that correct? It's 45 before eight? Faltan 45 para las 8. Night. Night. No. no, porque no podemos decir que faltan 45 para. It's 45 after 8. 15. 15. 15. 15. Okay, it's 15. 15. Fifteen before eight. Nine. Before nine. nine. Before nine. Very good. It's fifteen before nine. Excellent job. Now we're going to do more practices. Okay. What do you have in number four? Four number four. Let me see here. Someone who has not participated. Uh huh. Nimian, what do you have in number four? It's five after 11. It's five after 11, okay. It's five after 11, that's perfect. Jessica. It's? It's five million. Past 11. Five minutes past 11. Very good. 
It's five minutes past 11. Who has something different? Uh, yes. It's 11 or five. It's 11 or five. It's 11 or five. Very good. Joanna, do number five. Joanna tuvo que salir. She's not here. Okay, Ivan, you were in her group. Okay. Uh, it's a quarter after three. It's a quarter. Very good. It's a quarter after three. After three. Wait a moment. My clock, my it's a quarter after three. Now, what else do you have, Claudia Bet Samayoa? Claudia? It's, it's 3.15. It's 3.15. Okay. It's, that is correct. It's 3.15. Next one. That's it. Daisy? What else can you say here? Another option. Five. Yeah, clock number five. Number five. 15 minutes past three. It's 15. It's 15 minutes past three. Yeah, the word minutes is optional, okay? The word yes. minutes is optional. You, you can say it or not. And the last one, let's see, Julio Carlos. Okay. Uh, it's four and a half. It's four and a half. Very good. It's four and a half. Yes, Bilba. What else? It's 4.30. It's 4.30. Very good pronunciation. So these are, this is the first practice, okay? We have this. Do you have questions right now? Questions? Tienen lo mismo? Tienen algo distinto? Todos tienen lo mismo? Yes, sure. yes, yes. Sí? Okay. Yes, Nimian. Tell me, Nimian. Uh, it's 30 past four. It's the, oh, in ese caso no, porque es como, como la hora, eh, por ejemplo, cuando decimos la hora en punto, decimos o'clock. Y la media hora decimos it's 4.30 or it's four and a half. Mm -hmm. Solo decimos, ah, okay. sí, es como en español, que son las cuatro y media, pero no decimos, han pasado 30 minutos después de las cuatro. Okay, very good, very good. So we have this. Can I continue with the next activity? Yes? Seguimos? Yes. Solo okay. tengo una duda, teacher. Yep. Quiero que me explique el it's to... Eh, no. Bueno, en este caso sería eh, el que dijo Julio, creo que lo dijo. It's for an a half. It's for eh, and a half. Ajá. Uh -huh. And a half here. Here it is, four and a half. And a half means 30. And a half significa 30. Así lo ves. That's the option. Así se escribe. Cuatro y media, son la, la media ah, hora. Cuatro y, y media. Yes, es como it's four ah, thirty. Ah, ah, ok. Four thirty, it's four and a half. Es lo mismo. Ah, ok. Gracias, Tish. Ok. Now, another thing. Another question? No? No, all clear. All clear, okay, very good. Let's go with the next activity here. In this activity, it says, create a conversation with two partners about their daily activities at work. Then ask questions for extra information about someone else's duties. Do you remember the word duties? Duties is activities, okay? 
activities that we have to do in our workplace. So this is an example, right, of course, but you can do your own conversation. It says, what do you do on weekdays? I start to work at one o'clock. I prepare the machines and, wow, when does your supervisor check all the things you do? Actually, he checks once a month. Okay. And what about you? What do you do? Here, what I want you to do is to use the activities that you do at your work and the time, okay? For example, it says, I prepare the machines at 8.45 a.m., for example. And I have lunch at a quarter to one, right? So you are going to mix the time and the activities that you, that you do every day. Is that clear? No? No, teacher. Okay. You are going to write a conversation, okay? In the conversation, right, you are going to talk about activities at work, right? You will ask extra information about someone else's activities, duties, significant activities. Right? But I want you to use the time, right? One o'clock, 3 p.m., 3.45, any time, right? Aquí, en esta conversación, no le agregan la hora. Sí le agregan actividades, right? Le agregan actividades así como, I start to work, I prepare the machines, right? Things that they do, but they don't put the time. You are going to put the time in the conversation, okay? Este es solo un ejemplo. Pero ustedes, como siempre, ustedes van a crear su propia conversación con la información que ya conocen, okay? Is that clear now, Iris? Yes? Yes. Okay, very good. Now, do you have any other questions, everyone else? Is it clear? Yo, quizá una, una pregunta. Mm -hmm. Eh, solamente vamos a utilizar tiempo de reloj, no vamos a utilizar otra. No, you can say medida. once a month, every day, okay. right? We are using the simple present, okay? So okay. we're going to use simple present, daily activities, and the time, right? Okay. Okay, very good. Now, we're going to work right now. Now, this, this, well, this is on your book, so you don't have to worry. En realidad lo que van a utilizar es acá, ¿ok? Now, let's get to work right now. We are going to have 12 minutes, so let's get to work quickly, ¿ok? Vamos a tener exactamente a las 9 para venir porque hay que pasar la lista, ¿ok? So, trabajemos. Now, let's start. Just give me a moment. We're going to work in pairs, right? En pareja, vamos todos. And let's see. Okay, yeah. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ya voy a pasar en cada grupo, okay? Let's go.
Ivan, Ana Daisy, select your groups. Ivan and Ana Daisy, select your groups. Iván, seleccione su, su grupo, por favor. Ana Daisy, Karina, Karina. Lo que nos mencionaba de los tiempos. Okay, do you have a question right now on what you have to do? Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna put you on mute right now, Joanna, so you can listen. Okay. Now. What we are going to do is that you are going to create a conversation about your daily activities at work, okay? You are going to use simple present. You are going to also mention the time in which you do your activities. Okay, for example, I create the classes at 8 a.m. I prepare my lesson plans at 8.45. I teach English at 8 p.m., right? So you're going to tell the time, tell the activities, and you're going to use simple present, okay? Now, yes? Okay, very good. If there is too much background noise, say mucho ruido en la parte de atrás, puede usar el chat, okay? Para que le salga más conveniente a todos. Very good. So I see you in a moment. Hoy sí ya, Iván, Emerson. Sí? Okay. Y disculpe, Emerson, no vine a verlo rápido porque estos dos muchachos andaban perdidos por todo son. Que los mandé para acá. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy your meal, Joanna. Sí, la mujer. ¿Cómo puede decirme si gusta? Ok, este. De lunes a viernes. Si gusta, empezamos. Diría yo que una de las preguntas podría ser: What do you do? Um, morning, que hace en la mañana para que empezara ahí a decir unas cuantas actividades que se puede hacer. What do you do morning? Uh -huh. What do you do, do, you do in morning? On morning, yo creo que es in. What do you do in the morning? In, in the, the morning. The morning. Okay, thank you, teacher. In the morning. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. What? I podría decir que. Usted me pregunta a mí. You. I bet. Uh, what do eh, you solo do para saber el orden de la conversación. Yo saludo Ajá, y le sí. pregunto, o yo saludo, usted me responde y me pregunta. <laughs> Vaya, porque digamos de qué vamos a decir. Vaya, usted va a empezar, va. Hello, Bill, me iba a decir. Hello, Carlos. Okay. Entonces, ya ahí. Uh -huh. Ok. Y usted ahí, si gusta, pregunta. Ok. Creo que aquí tengo. What? What do you do? In the morning. Uh -huh. What do you do in the morning? Mm -hmm. 
Ajá. Ahí usted me dice algo. Uh -huh. si Ay. Me pregunta a mí. O sea, uh -huh. ahí usted me responde si quiere, después me pregunta y tú. Ajá, uh va. -huh. Yo podría decirle, I usually, I usually get up, get up, up. Es quarter to five. <laughs> wake up. Ajá. Wake up. Wake up. I usually wake up a quarter. At quarter, quarter to five. To five. Les gusta por eso. Se levanta. Do you have questions? Eh, estamos ahorita construyendo, Tich. Ok. ¿Qué tienen por el momento? Eh, la conversación, what do they on the weekdays? Eh, respondiendo, I start, Mark, it's seven and half. No, no. Eh, la conversación va a ser entre ustedes dos, usted y niña. Ajá. Si me dice, what do they, está hablando de alguien más. Mm. Porque they es ellos. No, pero es what, what. Sería, what do you do what on do you the do? weekdays? What do you do on the weekdays? Exactamente. Eh, no, sé si no sé si lo puede ver en el chat. Déjame ver. No, en el chat solo veo ese, I connect. Sí, no, arriba. Sí. No, no puedo okay. verlo. Se, se, se lo ¿Eh? leo. Sí. Uh -huh. eh, sería, eh, me inician consultando, what do you do on weekday? Eh, corresponde, I start mark it seven and half. I? I connect CRM. I connect to CRM. Uh -huh. It's 20. 25. Uy, pero aquí me equivoqué. Ajá, es 2025. No, a la hora. <risa> Sería at. Ah, no, 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 at, no, 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 At eight o'clock. I teach, eh, I connect to CRM. Como se quiere poner ahí, I connect to CRM. ¿A qué hora? At. ¿A qué hora? Uh, um, at, a las 7.35. At, okay. 25 before 8. 8. 25 before 8. Ok. okay. Uh, y ahí le podría, yo de ahí pues iba a decir esas dos actividades y que consultarle que, que a, a qué hora entraba él. Uh -huh. At what time do you start your work? Uh -huh. What time uh -huh. do you start your work? Pero siempre utilicen you, ok? Porque estoy entre ustedes dos ahorita. Mm, ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ok. Dígame sus actividades, Carolina. Ahorita. Eh, I get I get up I get up at six, six a.m. Okay, very good. I take a shower at six eh, and a half. Six and a half, okay. Eh, luego sería I go to work. At 8 a.m. At 8 a.m. Very good. What time do you start to work? Recuérdense de las preguntas con WH, Nimian. What time? Uh, uh -huh. Eso nos sirve acá para conocer más información de su compañera. Ok. Now, it's... Tienen 59 minutos, no, dos minutos tienen. 
Cuando reciban okay. la alerta, todavía tienen, cuando ya les recibe, les manda Zoom que ya se terminó el tiempo, aún tienen 59 segundos, ¿ok? Ok. ¿Qué acuerdo? Sí, no mames. Uh, I have report audit and the uh, 11 o'clock. Yeah, puede decir en you y yo, ¿verdad? And you, uh -huh. and Para you, con... what do you do in the, in the, o repito nuevamente la pregunta, what do you do on the weekdays? Weekdays. Weekdays. What do you do? No sé. <laughs> what do you do on weekdays? Yes? Weekdays. Okay. Perfect. Y ahí me contestaría. I play más clases in the afternoon. Um, I create exercise. I check platform. Mm -hmm. Platform. 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 What else? Ok. ¿Lo tiene? ¿Está bien? Sí. Ok, muy okay. bien. Let's go, vamos. Okay. Let's go. Let us go. <laughs> Now we are going to listen to the conversations you have created, right? We are going to pass the attendance first. Le damos la asistencia antes que otra cosa suceda. Ana Daisy Fuentes Villegas. Encena su cámara, por favor. Encena su cámara. Thank you. Okay. Ana Daisy Fuentes Villegas. Brenda Iris Escamilla Pérez. Present. Carlos Roberto García Present. Ramírez. Present. Present. Thank you, Daisy. Carolina Yamilet Present. Hernández Landa Verga. Present. Claudia Ivette Tamayoa Castro. Present. Denis Fernando Flamenco Nolasco. Emerson Adalberto Guevara Ortez. Heriberto Antonio Alas Mengíbar. Present. Iris Elizabeth Salazar de Flores. Present. Iván Ernesto Elías. Present. Present. Jessica Rosemary Olmedo Fuentes. Present teacher. Julio Carlos Martínez. Present teacher. Karina Melissa Estrada Aldana. Present teacher. Nelson Iván Flores. Nimian Elizabeth León de Estrada. Vilma Beatriz Reyes Márquez. Present. Jenny Carolina Martínez Alvarado. Present. Joana Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. Present. Ok, very good. So we have there the uh, attendance. Si no le valen la asistencia porque mantiene su cámara acá apagada, ya no hay nada que hacer. Ok. Now. We're going to share the conversation. We're going to listen to Julio Carlos and company. Who was with you, Julio Carlos? Uh, my group work is Vilma and Karina. Vilma, eh? Karina. Okay, very good. Let's just start. Okay. Hello, Vilma, Karina. Hello, Carlos. What do you do in the morning? I usually get up um, at quarter five and eat breakfast six a.m. Okay. And you, Karina? What I, do you do in the morning? I get up at six a.m. and take a shower and then take my back breakfast. And you, Carlos, what do you do in your work? 
Um, my, da my day starts at 6 o'clock <laughs> all the morning. Later, take a shower and later, I drive my job. Okay. Thank Finish. you, Carlos. Applause, please. Yes, very good. <laughs> An applause. <laughs> okay, very good, Julio. Very good, Karina. Excellent job, Vilma. <laughs> we're going to listen to Ivan. Ivan, you were working with Joanna and who else? Uh, teacher. Uh -huh. uh, mis compañeros, pues, no se conectaron mucho. Uh, el otro compañero con quien se desconectó, no sé por qué. You didn't create the conversation? Uh, no lograron crear la conversación? No, teacher. Yo no, solo okay. empecé, pero me quedé a medias. What do you have? ¿Qué tiene? What do you have? Ok. Uh, yo solo le empecé, puse, what do you do? What do you do on Monday? I start to work a night, a club. And, uh, and mark, and, uh, and I mark my entry time. Wow, you boss checks your empty time. Okay, very good, very good. Excellent, that's actually good. Very good, excellent. Okay. And applause to Ivan too, okay? Thank you. Eh, teacher, yo creo que Joana por estar este, creo que en otro lugar no podía copiar, pero sí ella también este, dio la idea de cómo poder hacerlo. Okay, thank you so much, Ivan. Thank you, Joana. Now, we're going to listen to Carolina. Carolina, you work with Nimia, right? Right. Okay, very good. Let's start. Uh, what do you do on weekdays? I start Mark, it's seven and a half. I connect the LM. Twenty-five before eight. What time do you start to work, Carolina? I get up. It's six o'clock. I take a shower at six and all. Okay. What do you I do got... activity on the weekday? Uh, I go. I go work. I go to work. At nine o'clock. Hasta ahí. <laughs> Very good. That's good. Thank you so much. You use the time correctly. Very good. Thank you so much. Rosemary. Who was in your group, Rosemary? Roberto. Roberto. Carlos Roberto and Rosemary. Yes. What do you have, Carlos Roberto and Rosemary? Okay, let's start. Jessica. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. Okay. Okay. Carlos, are you able to participate right now? Sí, creo. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Pero empezaba Jessica. Mm -hmm. Jessica, usted comienza, dice él. Okay. Hello, Carlos. What do you do to work the weekend? Mm, eran los the days of the week the days of the week para poder hablar de trabajo por ejemplo yo respondí I'm going to work from from Monday to Friday what about you 
I'm going to work from the Monday to Friday. Continue, Carlos. Carlos, continue. Hola, hola, no sé si se me escucha, Teche. Yo los escucho como bien lentos. <ríe> como que... Uh -huh. Fíjense que hubo un problema, creo que un error mío, disculpa, disculpe también Jessica, porque realmente empezaba yo. <ríe> yo empezaba así, Jessica, but what do you do on the days of the week? Ella me respondía, I going okay, to work from Monday to Friday. Let's do the conversation. Friday. Ask Jessica. Okay. Hagan la conversación. Okay. Pregúntale okay, okay. Jessica. Ok, okay. bueno, empezamos de nuevo, Jessica, yo no disculpo. Empezaba yo y decía, Jessica, what do you do on the days of the week? Hello, Carlos. I am going to from... I am going to work from the Monday to the Friday. What about you? Okay. Unfortunately, I work from Monday to Saturday. What time do you leave work? I finish work to 5 p.m. And you, Roberto? Well, I leave my work at 5 and a half p.m. Maybe I can see you on Sunday. Okay. Thank you, Roberto. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Thank you so much. That's much better. Very good. Excellent job here. Thank you. Now we go with from Monday to Friday. Okay. From Monday to Friday. Okay. In Spanish, we say del, desde el lunes hasta el martes. Así decimos en español, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso es que a veces cuando estamos ya en inglés, le ponemos... Eh, da, da Monday, right? Y eso es normal, no se preocupe. Pero lo que vamos a tratar de hacer es hacerlo así como en el chat. From Monday to Tuesday, from Monday to Sunday, from Monday to Friday. Sin ponerle da, ¿ok? ¿Está esa parte eh, bien? ¿Entendemos esa parte? De lunes a viernes. Lo vamos a decir de lunes, de el lunes a el viernes, ¿ok? Porque si lo decimos en español, en español no hay problema. Okay. But in English, you, you are not going to say the Monday. Mm -mm. Okay? And we are going to... We are going to work here. Uh, ¿Hubo otra oración que, que, que escribieron? Lea la última oración que leyó eh, Jessica. Está en mute, está en mute, Jessica. Disculpe. Ok, sorry. I finish work 5 p.m. I finish work at 5 p.m. At 5 p.m. A la Ajá, exacto. At 5 p.m. Very good. Or at 5 o'clock, como usted quiera. Now, let's listen to, ¿qué me falta? Claudia Ivette, right? Me falta Claudivet y Iris, right? Claudivet and Iris. And then we go to another activity with simple present. Okay. Hi, Carolina. How are you? Carolina. Oh. No, you are with Claudivet. Sí, no empiezo. Claudia, perdón. <laughs> Hi, Iris. How are you? I am fine, Claudia. What do you do around the work? Claudia. Um, no. <laughs> what time do you arrive the work? It's, no, es que, es que, creo que se equivocó, no, no iba así. <laughs> No lo, no, ok. Ahí va, hi Claudia, I'm, I'm, I'm sí, es que yo comenzaba. You? Ok, start again, no se preocupe, comiencen de nuevo. Ok. Hi Claudia, what time do you arrive at work? It's quarter before eight. 
Ah, it's okay. I am I write the word. It's a me too. It's what, okay. what time do you have breakfast? I take my breakfast at eight uh, and a half. <laughs> what do you do on weekdays? I have report audit and at 11 o'clock. And you? I play my classes, I grade exercise, and I check platform. Finish. Finish. Okay, very good, very good. And just one thing we say, mm -hmm. what time? What time? Do you go to work? Do you go to work? Or what time do you arrive at work? Okay, what time do you arrive at work? Arrive. At work. At work. Uh -huh. at, at. at work. Okay. Mm -hmm. at I arrive at work at 7 a.m. I arrive at work at 8 a.m. Right. It will depend. Okay, very good. Now, okay. we're going to do everyone pass the activity, right? Todos participaron? Yes, yes, no? Yes? Yes, right? Daisy? Daisy está frozen. Okay, let's continue. We're going to do... Hi, teacher. Hi. Who was in your group, Daisy? Okay. Um, Emerson. Emerson. Emerson estaba con Iván. Yes. Okay, okay. So, we're going to, to listen, okay, Daisy? This activity is going to be individual work, okay? The bigger. This is practice of simple present. Okay. Okay. Now, in the simple present, you remember that we use do and does, right? We use do and does. And we can see here that it's a complete conversation with the correct words. The first one says, Tom. What does your husband do exactly? Do exactly. Okay, thank you so much, Daisy. Now, we are going to choose there, right, for each one of this, like Daisy just did. Right, we are going to choose one of the options that we have at the bottom, right? So we look at here and see what does your husband do exactly? Then we have work or works, do or does. We have different options and we're going to complete the conversation with those options, okay? Now let's go ahead and please take a screenshot because we're going to do this activity individually. Individually. Take a screenshot, tomen su captura de pantalla. We are practicing simple present. Okay, ¿ya tomaron el screenshot? Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. Permítame que aquí pasó algo. Se lo voy a poner otra vez porque se me fue una oración. One moment. I'm going to put it again, porque creo que no vieron las últimas dos oraciones. Now, take a screenshot, please. No veo la pantalla. Yo no, veo la pantalla. no se ve la pantalla. Give me a moment.
What about now? Can you see it? Yes. Okay. Okay. Ahora sí. Sí, teacher. Okay, let's go. Now we are going to do this work individually, the form individual. Okay, let's do it. Ivan, did you take the screenshot? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Now we're going to do it individually. We're using right now our minds to practice simple present, okay? Let's do it. Vamos. If you have questions, please raise your hand. Tell me if you have questions. Díganme si tienen preguntas. Yo, teacher, porque hasta ahorita voy ingresando nuevamente por la señal. Tengo problemas con la señal. Okay, don't worry. We are doing this exercise. Okay, Jenny. We are selecting here, right, the best option, right? If we have here what, do does, we selected does. What does your husband do or does? And then Ana Daisy said it was do. And that is correct. What does your husband do exactly? Right? So from all the options, we are going to select here work, works, do, does. What is the best option? for each one of these, okay? That's what we're gonna do. Please take a screenshot of the exercise. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome, thank you. Tome una captura, por favor, del ejercicio. Tell me if you have questions. Díganme si tienen preguntas. Questions, questions, alguna pregunta? Thank you. 
Let me know when you finish. Cuando terminen, solamente levanta la mano acá y ya sabemos que hemos terminado. Let's see. Nobody has finished yet. Joana, did you listen to the activity? Escuché la actividad. No la visitaba en clase. No. Okay. Okay. No la vi que estaba por eso. Ok, ok. So we are doing, Joana, this activity. As you can see here, we have an exercise that in which we're practicing the simple present. We are selecting what is the best option, right? From the words in parentheses. For example, it says, do, does. The best option is does. Here, Anna Daisy said that the best option was do. So say, what does your husband do exactly? So from the others, you will select also the options that are given, okay? Take a screenshot, okay. Joanna. Okay, I will stop now. Iván, ¿usted tomó captura de pantalla también del ejercicio? Yes, teacher. Ok, very good. Questions, Vilma, did you finish? Okay, raise your hand here. Levante la mano para saber aquí. Ahí en Zoom está. Okay, Julio. Also, Vilma, also finish. Very good. ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más?
<ríe> no me funciona el levantar la mano, teacher. Really? I finish. Okay, good, good. Daisy, did you finish? Nimia, Brenda Iris, Ivan Ernesto. Iris, okay. Teacher. Yes? I have a question. Yes, Joanna? ¿Cómo hago para saber cuando va a ver una tercera persona y va a normal? ¿Cómo sabes si cuando va a tercera persona? El, el verbo, por ejemplo. ¿Ah? Bueno, dale, habla, habla. Por ejemplo, en la primera dice, what does your husband do exactly? Uh -huh. En la siguiente dice, he works for a different store. O sea, me y abajo dice, how do, tengo que escoger uno de los dos. Y después dice, like o likes, pero no sé. ¿Cómo hago para identificar cuál va? Tiene, ok, good, good, good. En este caso, usted tiene que saber que en una pregunta, y eso es para todos, cuando ustedes tienen una pregunta y en la pregunta han utilizado das, el verbo ya no va a, llegar, ya no va a llevar la regla de la S. ¿Por qué? Porque como dijimos anteriormente, ya lo hemos utilizado en das. Entonces ya no lo tenemos que volver a utilizar. However, sin embargo, si ustedes utilizan una oración en afirmativo y es he, she, or it, ahí sí tiene que llevar la regla de la S. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, very good. Let's continue. Vamos, 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 que ya dos compañeros, tres compañeros, cuatro terminaron ya. Nimia, Vilma, Julio, en Jenny terminaron. Carolina, thank you. Why are you showing us your arm? ¿Por qué no está mostrando el brazo? Presumiendo que tengo la vacuna contra el COVID. No le digo, pues. Did you finish the exercise? ¿Ya termina el ejercicio? No, no, no. Es que se le ha caído el sistema. <risa> ah, pues, ¿cómo la clase? Porque todos modos no tiene sistema. Ah, <risa> I think we should start checking right now the answers, right? Yes. Yes. Very good. Now, I am going to put here again the exercise and you will tell me what are the options, right? Now. <clears throat> Now we have here, give me a moment. Da, 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 da. We know that the first one is do. Right. Do exactly, right? Tell me the second one here. What is the best option, Vilma? He? He works. 
work. He works for a department store. Uh -huh. He's a store management manager. Manager. He works for a department store. He is a store manager. Very manager. good. Julio, what do you have in the next one? How does he like it? How does he like it? Very good. How does he like it? Excellent. Right. Now let's go with the next one here. Uh, Jenny, it's an interesting job. Jenny? Jenny? Sorry, no lo había sentido. Okay. He likes it very much. Okay. Number one or number two? Two. Two. Okay. Likes. Repeat. Like. Likes. Like. He likes it very much. Likes very much. Very good. He likes it very much. Let's continue here with this one. Carolina, but works, but he works long hour. And okay. what do okay. you okay? I, <laughs> Thank you. But he works long hours. Repeat with me. Long hours. Long hours. Very good. Thank you so much. Now let's go and do the next one. Uh who else finished? Claudia Yvette. And Claudia Yvette. And what do you do? And what do you do? Exactly. What do you do? And what do you do? Excellent. Let's continue here. Ivan, Tom, I am Tom, a student. I am a student. I am a student. Ar architecture. Ar architecture. Architect. Okay. What is your option? A study or a studies? A study. A study. Very good. Now read the sentence, please. I'm a student. I'm a student architect. I'm a student. Uh, so I am. I am a student. I am. I am a student. I am a student. I am a study architect. A study. Ah, study. Okay. I study. I study architect. You can say I study English. It doesn't matter. I study English. I study English. Very good. Okay, let's go with Liz, Joanna. Oh, really? Oh, really? Where do you go to the school? Where do you go to school? Very good. Where do you go to school? Now let's go with Tom here. Another person, let's see. Karina Melissa, did you finish? Yes. I go. Mm -hmm. Read the complete sentence. I go to Lincoln University. Okay, ahora lea la de nuevo de forma normal. Okay. I go to Lincoln University. Very good. Thank you so much. Y Nelson? Go with my girlfriend. Nelson Ivan. Yes. Go with this one, please. My girlfriend. My girlfriend goes there too. Okay. My girlfriend goes. My girlfriend goes there too. Repeat. My girlfriend goes. Goes there too. 
Okay, very good. Let's continue here. Another person. Uh, da, 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 da. Nimian. She is uh, really and what does she study? What does she study? What does she study? And the last one, help me out here. Right. Jessica. She yes, study hotel management. She studies hotel management. She studies hotel management. Hotel management. Very good. Now I am going to read this conversation and you're going to practice with me. Just we're gonna do just two role plays, okay? Por el tiempo solamente lo vamos a participar. But let's listen. Okay. This is Tom. What does your husband do exactly? He works for a department store. He's a store manager. How does he like it? It's an interesting job. He likes it very much. But he works long hours. And what do you do? I'm a student. I study architecture. Oh, really? Where do you go to school? I go to Lincoln University. My girlfriend goes there too. Really? And what does she study? She studies hotel management. That sounds interesting. Okay. Now, we are going to have two people, right? We don't have much time. We don't have much time, so we're going to have two people that are going to help us. Thank you so much, Jessica. And thank you so much, Karina. Gracias por voluntariarse. Thank you. So, Karina, you are Tom. Jessica, you are Liz. But Jessica, speak up, okay? Hable fuerte. Speak louder. Okay. What does your husband do exactly? He works from the department store. He is a store manager. What does he like it? It's an interesting job. He likes it very likes it very much. Continue, but but he works long hours. And what do you do? I am a student. I study architecture. Oh, really? Where do you do go to a school? I go to Lincoln University. My girlfriend goes there too. Really? And what does he study? She studies hotel manager, management. And so interesting. Very good, very good. That sounds interesting. Okay, repeat here, uh, Jessica. Where do you go to school? Where do you go to school? Where do you do? No, where do you go to school? Where do you go to school? Very good. And Karina, husband. 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 Exactly. Then department. department, department, very good. He likes it very much. Repeat, he likes it very he, much. He likes it he very, likes much. very much. Very okay. much. I have a space for, okay, let me say I have two chats. Okay, 
Now, let's see here. I need two more people here to participate. Do I have any volunteers? I have Joanna. Only Joanna. Nobody to participate. Okay, Joanna and Claudia, thank you very much. Okay, Joanna, you are Tom. Lee, eh, Claudia, you are Liz. Okay. What does your husband do exactly? He works for a department store. He is a store manager. How does he like it? It's an interesting job. He likes it very much. But, Claudia, continue, but. But he works long hours. And what do you do? I'm a student. I study architecture. Oh, really? Where do you go to school? I go to Lincoln University. My girlfriend goes there too. Really? And what does she study? She studies hotel management. That sounds interesting. <clears throat> Very good. Repeat with me, Joanna. Hotel. 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 Very good. Architecture. Architecture. Very good. Claudia, repeat with me. No, we're good. We're good, Claudia. This one, that sounds interesting. That sounds interesting. Interesting. In Esta es, elimínela. Interesting. 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 Very good. It's not interesting, no. Interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Repeat. Interesting. No. Interesting. Interesting. Very good. Interesting. Excellent. Excellent. Very good, Claudia. Thank you so much. So we're going to stop here from sharing this. Right, and we're going to do another activity. Give me a moment. Oh, my God. Teacher, podría poner la pantalla que estamos viendo. Again, the conversation. Yes. Pero ya no tiene las respuestas. What is the answer that you need? ¿Cuál es la respuesta que necesita? ¿Cuál es la respuesta que necesita, Iván? Iván. Teacher, le dice Tom. She hotel manager. She studies hotel management. Studies. Okay. Studies. Study. Okay. She studies hotel management. Very good. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, excellent job. Now we're going to go here, right? And we're going to work in the book. Okay. Vamos a empezar con esto. Let me show you here. Oh my God. Okay. We have another conversation here. This is on page 33 on your book. And we have an agenda, okay? We have an agenda. This is Mrs. Robles' agenda. 
right? She is Mrs. Robles. So her agenda goes like this. At 7.15 a.m., she has a meeting with the marketing department. At 8.30 a.m., she makes a video call with a supervisor from West Company. At 9 a.m., right, she develops a workshop to the research and development department to improve the manufacturing processes. At 12, right, she has the workshop's lunch. At 1.45, right, she has the second part of the workshop. At 5.55, she sends tomorrow's schedule to Ms. Lopez, new secretary, and she leaves, right? She goes to home, right? This is an agenda. With this agenda, in la página 33 que ustedes tienen, right, we have some questions, right? And the questions are about the time. Right. The first one is, what time is the video call with the West Company? Read the conversation and tell me. Ustedes lean las conversaciones. Ya la tienen ahí en su página 33. Yo les muestro las preguntas y ustedes leen la conversación y me responden a mí. Okay? Emerson, you are going to answer number two. Usted va a responder la número dos, así que lea la conversación, por favor. Daisy. You are going to answer number three. So please read the conversation. Number two. Teacher, page yes, 33. What? Page 33. Page 33. Page 33, right? Ok, on page 33, ahí está la conversación. Es, bueno, no es conversación, es la agenda. Right? Mrs. Robles' agenda. So, Carolina, what time is the video call with the West Company? Carolina y Amilet. Aquí estoy, teacher, creí que le había dado. Eh, vaya, es con el supervisor. No. Es... What time is the video call with the West Company? Ah, Not who. What time? what time? Ah, es este, it's, it's nine. Okay. It's nine, a whole, a whole, half. The video call. With the West Company mm -hmm. is at it's it's nine hal hal hot alf Okay, nine and a half. Uh huh. And see, nine and a half. Half. See half. Repeat, half. Half. Okay. La half. L, okay, listen to me. La L no la va a pronunciar, solamente va a decir así. Ah, uh, half. Half. Listen to me. Uh -huh. Half. Half. Uh -huh. half. Half. Nine half. and a half. Repeat. Uh, nine and a half. Very good. The video. The video call with the West Company is at nine and a half, nine thirty. Is that correct? Están de acuerdo con esa respuesta? Teacher, no. ¿Mm? It's eight. It's eight. It's eight. Okay, veamos. Dice aquí eight thirty. Video call with the supervisor from West Company. That is correct. Ah, perdón. Sí, it's, sí. it's at eight thirty. Very good. It's at 8.30. Dije night. Okay. Now, Emerson, what time does the workshop with the research department start? 
Workshop. Mm -hmm. The workshop. Workshop at the site. Department star nine o'clock. Stars at nine o'clock. Is that correct, guys? Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. And the third one, Daisy, what time does the company close? The company close at five minutes to six. Okay, six, five, five, five. Very good. Five minutes to six. Very good. Excellent job. So we have there, right? The answers for these three questions. Copy the answers. ¿Ya tienen la respuesta? ¿Lo copiaron? Oh, the company closes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The company closes at 5.55. Or five minutes to six. Closes. Okay. Now, I am going to call the attendance. ¿Ya copiaron esto, creo yo? Right. So I'm going to call the attendance uh, very quick. We go with Ana Daisy Fuentes Villegas. Present. Brenda Iris Escamilla Perez. Carlos Roberto Garcia Ramirez. Present. Carolina Milet Hernández Landa Verde. Present. Claudia Ivette Samayoa Castro. Present. Denis Fernando Flamenco Nolasco. Emerson Adalberto Guevara Ortez. Heriberto Antonio Alas Mencibar. Iris Elizabeth Salazar de Flores. Iván Ernesto Elías. Present. Jessica Rosemary Olmedo Fuentes. Present. Julio Carlos Martínez. Present teacher. Karina Melissa Estrada Aldana. Present teacher. Nelson Iván Alfaro Flores. Present. Nimian Elizabeth León de Estrada. Present. Vilma Beatriz Reyes Márquez. Present. Jenny Carolina Martínez Alvarado. Present. And Joana Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. Present. Okay. Very good. So we are we have the attendance there right we are going to finish here and i'm just going to stay with with one person today the other ones i will stay with karina melissa and then the other ones i'll see you guys tomorrow okay bye 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 good night good night bye bye Bye, see tomorrow. See tomorrow. Hi, Karina. How are you? Hi, teacher. Okay, Karina, we have 10 minutes. Uh, do you have any questions? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta? ¿Algo en lo que le haya quedado dudas que le pueda ayudar? Eh, sí, quizás en la parte donde tenemos que utilizar el, los verbos agregándole la S. Ahí casi no le logré captar la idea porque esta me falla un poco el internet. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Perfecto. Solo déjeme buscar eso acá. Igual este, a veces por eso apago la cámara un rato porque me quedo sin sonido. Ya detecté que apagando la cámara me funciona mejor el internet. Ah, sí, eso sí es cierto. Uh -huh. Lo único malo es que, pues sí, vea, ya ve que eh, Insafor nos pide que tengamos la cámara encendida, entonces por eso tenemos que, uh -huh. que mencionar. Bye.
ya le digo iris yo pensé que usted era la que era contadora sí soy contadora ay porque está tan tranquila ese 29 de abril no sí le escribí que salía a las a las ocho, cuatro, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. es cierto a las ocho a las ocho. Uh -huh. Permítame un momento. Solo que mi área es, es diferente. Que yo trabajo ¿Ah? en los costos. Es sí, un poco diferente. Es un poco diferente. Uh -huh. okay. Permítame que no haya la PowerPoint. Un segundo. Ya le voy a enseñar. Esta. ¿Qué pasa acá? Lo que pasa en este caso, Karina, cuando estamos utilizando todos los, eh, cuando estamos utilizando el simple present, ¿verdad? en third person singular, en tercera persona del singular, vamos a tener un cambio para las eh, oraciones que están en afirmativo. ¿Ok? Afirmative sentences in simple present. Okay. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que vamos a mostrar acá, Karina? Que cada vez que tengamos la oración, por ejemplo, si tenemos I cook, I cook chicken every Monday, ¿verdad? Esa es la pregunta. I cook chicken every Monday. Eso está bien. Pero, ¿qué es lo que sucede? Cuando yo digo I cook chicken every Monday, eso está con I, you, we, or they. Para... I, you, we, or they, el verbo se queda en su forma base. Pero si yo tengo he, she, or it, ¿ok? En este caso, el verbo va a cambiar. Entonces, no todos los verbos tienen un cambio significativo. La mayoría, a la mayoría de verbos solamente le agregamos una S. Por ejemplo, she cooks chicken every Sunday. ¿Ok? She cooks. Chicken. Ahora, para cada uno de esos verbos, aunque la mayoría lleva S, aquí dice with most verbs add S. Con la mayoría de verbos, solo agrégale la S. ¿Ok? What happens next? Si usted tiene ese ending in consonant plus Y, si tiene un verbo que termina en consonante más la Y, usted le va a a cambiar la Y, quiere decir que la Y se va, se desaparece y la reemplaza con la letra I latina. ¿okay? Y luego le agrega IS. Por ejemplo, try se convierte en tries. Carry, carries. ¿okay? Ahí está el ejemplo que estaba hoy trabajando Iván. Study está consonante más Y. Entonces, ¿qué hacemos? Trabajamos acá, esta, this. Le quitamos la Y y la utilizamos acá. Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir, you study English. Utilizamos la primera parte, you study English. Alguien más va a decir, Karina studies English. ¿Ok? Eso sería con la tercera persona. Ahora, con los verbos que terminan en S, Z, CH, X o IS se les agrega ES al final. Miss, misses. Bus, buses. Catch, catches. Fix, fixes. Y los verbos que terminan en O se, también se les agrega ES. Esta es prácticamente como la regla más uh, primordial 
de cómo hacer los cambios en, en la forma de la escritura de los verbos en simple present, third person singular. ¿Ok? Ok. okay. ¿Entendemos esa parte ahorita? ¿Sí? Sí. sí. Vale. Vamos acá. Vamos a ver si es aquí. Ya le voy a enseñar algo más. Permítame. Ay, esto está mal hasta. Me quedó mal esta imagen. Pero tal vez la mira. ¿La mira? ¿Un poco? Sí, sí. Sí. Vale. Por ejemplo, verse ending in S, add ES. Y passes. Los que terminan en Z, agrega la S. Mire, a la mayoría de esa excepción que terminan S, Z, SH, CH, X, O, le vamos a agregar ES. A los consonantes más Y, le quitamos la Y, le ponemos I, le ponemos She Studies. Y otros solamente se le agrega la S. Eso es todo lo que vamos a hacer para eh, la regla de la S. Te voy a mandar la primera imagen a su... Usted me mandó el audio, ¿verdad? Sí. Se lo voy a mandar a usted. Aquí, a ah, la, 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 la. A su chat, para que lo tenga. Porque como no escuchó, me imagino que no lo pudo anotar. Entonces, para que ahí lo tenga. Esa sería la regla. ¿Entendió más o menos de qué se trata, Karina? Sí, sí, sí. ¿Sí? Ok, dígame sí. si recibió la imagen. Sí, ya. Sí, ok. ¿Tiene alguna otra pregunta? Uh -huh. No, quizás eso era lo que más me confundía, porque yo pensé que porque empezaba con he or she, se utilizaba el, eh, se agregaba la S. De hecho, sí, sí, así es. O sea, si, si está utilizando he or she en simple present, lo va a utilizar. Ah, ok. He, she, it. Para esos tres es. Para ah, esos tres. Para los otros, para los otros, I, you, we, they, no existe la regla de la S. Okay. Y cuando utiliza, por ejemplo, que usted está haciendo una pregunta, ok, y decimos, does she study, ya, el ver, ya la regla de la S desaparece, porque la estamos utilizando en el auxiliar, en das. Uh -huh. Entonces ya no la vamos a utilizar en el verbo. Y en la forma negativa también, she does not study. Y no vamos a decir, she does not study. Porque ya la lleva el das. Ok. Ok. Ajá, y en eso sí me, me confundí. Hoy sí llama. <ríe> pero y yo hice la, las tareas, teacher, pero no sé si, si las hice todas porque como me había trazado un montón porque no había podido hacer ninguna, entonces yo empecé a hacer todas las que estaban ahí. Déjeme ver cómo va. Ajá, no sé si... Un momento, por favor. Ok. Ta, 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 ta. Karina Melissa, ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, de hecho, ya me parece que ya casi termina todo. Ya terminó todo. Prácticamente. Sí, es que muy. Karina, sí, está bien. Yo lo único que le dijera que hiciera de nuevo, porque en esa es la única que tiene como bien baja nota, es la, la tarea 3, porque en esa se sacó 76. Tarea 3. Uh -huh. De ahí en eh... todo lo demás tiene muy buena nota. Ok. Si sí, es que hay algunas que había una que era de complementar y no, no me la agarraba. Ajá. Ah, ah, sí. Es que ahí tienen problemas por el teclado, ¿verdad? Ajá. 
me agarraba las respuestas en eso. En eso creo que ajá, no sabía si, si ya las había terminado. Yo me preocupé, no, yo dije que todas esas tengo que hacer. No, pero ahorita sí ya parece que todo hizo. Solo le falta venir a clase. Vaya, Vaya pues, querida. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Dígame. Eh, no, en eso más que todo me confundía, no sabía cómo funcionaba ¿Cómo la regla de la S. Ajá. No, pero así es. Y cualquier cosa, pregunta en clase. Ok, no hay problema. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Karina. Have a beautiful night. Thank See you tomorrow. See you.